Feld Entertainment, almost as we know it today, started when my father acquired Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey in November of 1967. It's a family business creating family entertainment for families. We grew up spending time around the clowns, learning from them, learning to tumble from acrobats, learning to ice skate from professional skaters. It was just really, really unique and really fun. I think I got involved in the family business when I was about five years old. And my father would take me to work on the weekends with him and I learned to count by counting tickets. And I think it was interesting because my daughters were brought up in that way. My father never put pressure on us to join the business, but I think, and I don't know if it was intentional or not, you know, in his own ways was, you know, kind of teaching us and, you know, showing us along the way. And from a very young age, he let my sisters and I, you know, basically grade the clowns. We would write our notes, what we liked about them, what we, if we liked their costume, their makeup, if they were friendly looking, if they were funny, um, if they fell down well, I mean, all those things. Having us as this mini little focus group at home was a great learning experience for us and you know, hopefully for him as well. When they came into the business, they didn't even realize how much they knew that had just been part of their DNA that they had absorbed at a young age. And it's made them extraordinary uh, at what they do. And now what they're really defining is how are they gonna be able to take it way beyond where it is now. It's interesting, I don't spend too much time thinking about our heritage or our legacy. As a third generation, I spend a lot of time thinking about the future and what's it gonna look like 20 years from now or 30 years from now. And I don't have a crystal ball and I can't even tell you, but how are we gonna move this company forward? And how do we take something like Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey that's 145 years old and continue to make that relevant so it's around for the next 200 years and continues to be a modern and contemporary form of entertainment. In 2008, we acquired the motorsports business, which included Monster Jam, Supercross, and Arena Cross. And so when I joined the business and began working in motorsports, even though I'd grown up with Fell Entertainment, this was a completely new business. I got to see firsthand how important change is and how if we're not always looking forward and looking to what the next thing is, we will be behind. People ask me, what's your favorite show of the 35 shows that you have out there? And my answer is always the same, the next one.